Hello, welcome to Rijanix. In this video, we will learn about interface. The definition of the interface may vary depending on the understanding and experience of the programmer. Most of the time, it is one of the confusing topic among programmers. In this video, I will not discuss about how to declare and implement an interface. I believe you already know this. Most probably what you want to know are the following. Why interface? When to use it? How does it help us? In this series, I will basically try to answer these questions for you. Please watch all the videos in this series. The links are available in the description. So, first and foremost, interface does not have the implementation. It only has the method signature. Then why do we need this? When it comes to object-oriented programming, it's important to understand that the code needs to be reusable, testable, and scalable. Interface greatly helps to achieve this. Interfaces are used to build applications that are flexible. Basically, it helps us to achieve loose coupling, thereby components can be replaced with alternative implementations. Interfaces are the reasons why we are able to write flexible applications using design patterns and solid principles. Interface helps us to adapt new changes easily. It means you can design the application in a way that it welcomes changes without breaking. It helps us in creating an application that you can extend easily without modifying its original code base. You can enhance its functionality with new plugins or modules. Testability of your application has a lot to do with good design. Interface helps you to create a design that supports testability. I believe that it greatly helps us in reading the code as well. To understand what the class does, you do not need to go to the detail. Looking at the interface, you can mostly figure out at high level what the code does. As you will come to know interface is an abstraction and helps us to focus on higher level functionality. It basically defines the what and the class deriving from it defines the how. Robert C. Martin has rightly said that indeed the ratio of time spent reading versus writing is over 10 is to 1. So we read code 10 times more than writing it. Let's switch to Visual Studio and try to understand how interface helps to create a flexible and loosely coupled application. Let's try to implement the code in a tightly coupling way and see if there are any problems. Consider a simple example scenario. You want to design an application which manages different types of payment mode. Currently there are two types of payment mode, credit card and debit card. Let's quickly create the payment mode classes. Let's create a payment manager class to manage all these payments. Let's assume that this class has a lot of operations, but currently I have just implemented a method make payment and it activates the payment mode and it starts payment. This class takes the payment mode and calls the appropriate payment. Let's call this from our client. Let's run this. The appropriate payment modes are activated. So far so good. But let's say client wants to add one more payment mode, Google Pay. What will you do with the current design? That's simple. Create one more payment mode class. Let's do that. Let's go to Payment Manager and inject Google Pay as well. 
then call make payment let's go to our client Google Pay mode is also activated. What did you notice? One of our main class, the Payment Manager class got changed in multiple places like we had to change the constructor. Also Manage Payment method got changed. This is because the application is tightly coupled and tightly coupled application always violates open close principle. Let's quickly see the disadvantage of tightly coupled application. In tightly coupled application, a change in one module usually forces a ripple effect of changes in other modules. Implementing new functionality might require more effort and time due to the increased intermodule dependency. A particular module might be harder to reuse because dependent module must be included. Similarly, a particular module might be harder to test because dependent module must be included. The main disadvantage is that now the manager class which in real time might be complex and have lot of operations to perform needs to go on complete testing. We can make this tightly coupled application loosely coupled by using an interface instead of using concrete classes directly. Let's do that. Let's create an interface ipayment mode. Let's implement this to our payment mode classes. Let's go and change our manager class. We don't need this now. We just need I payment mode. That's it. Now this class can take anything that implements I payment mode. Let's create a factory to instantiate our subclasses. Let's create an enum mode. We have two modes currently. Credit card. Let's take the mode here. if mode credit card instantiate credit card let's make the change in our client let's delete this all as our factory class instantiate these classes let's create one of the payment mode Let's pass this mode to our manager class. And that's it. If we run this application, credit card payment mode will be activated. Let's run this. And you can see credit card payment mode is activated. If you want to activate debit card, you just give debit card here. Build it. And run. It says debit card payment mode is activated. Now say you have to add one more payment mode. Please notice the classes that is required to be modified. You will create this Google Pay class and implement your iPayment mode. You will come to your factory. You will add one more payment mode. And just instantiate it. That's it. You come to your client and you just say Google Pay. Build it and run it. See it says Google Pay mode activated. Notice that we have not touched our manager class when we extended our application with Google Pay mode. I hope you realize that now the design is flexible. Typically understanding a loosely coupled code base tends to require a shift in mindset. If you are habituated looking and writing tightly coupled application with loosely coupled application interfaces all around one interface having many implementations might at times make you hard to see what's on the other side of the interface. I hope with this video you have understood what is flexible and loosely coupled application and how we can attempt to write them. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then please hit like and subscribe button to see more such content. Thanks.